people say sky is limit and for us sky is just the beginning we are from the team of kalamsat and i am ignesh i the lead technologist of the team doing my final year aerospace engineering hi i am vinesh bardwaj i am the structural engineer of our team and i'm doing my third year aerospace engineering and as you all know right from schooling expectations and pressure on us is really high for what yes to get into the most premier colleges and i think this has you know increased our uh, passion towards whatever we do let let me just give you an example there's lots of curriculum loads of subjects and it's just a burden on us and i started hating that there is too much pressure on me and there are too many expectations and through this hatred i realized what i really want to do and yes through this passion which drew me i feel really honored to tell that have we have been invited as chief guest to the colleges we have been dreaming to join and this is what this is exactly the moment any individual dreams about thank you yeah talking about this expectations and pressures it's uh, obviously from right from schooling like we are from the high school people like now nowadays it's like too much actually to getting into the iits and this this pressures actually and for this pressures which we had been like which personally i have been through i am i'm really grateful that i didn't have that much pressure in my school like i am from a small town where like literally, literally I, i haven't seen planes i have been dreaming and one day actually this is a small story one day when uh, just a like summer vacation or something we have been and the first time i didn't know that were planes actually existing like till my third grade or fourth grade and like first time when i have been seeing the planes as it like much excited about seeing the plane or flying in it but when the first door where you enter to the plane like right beside the cabin of pilot i just stopped there and i was like literally admiring it like seeing it like i was just feeling amazed and throughout that flight where like i have been reaching to my destination i was like just imagining how how this creation how how beautiful is this and how this could have been done actually and then that that's where like, i started dreaming of my passion and started to do my work like related to not until to the high school but i'm really grateful that i don't say my parents are not educated but that that thing like, what so that's actually after schooling i don't say that my parents are not educated but i, I have been having that freedom of doing what i have there were no limits like, there are no expectations on me actually there like not as they are not that educated and so like i i am i have been free and so like knowing no bonds actually i say that word because i didn't even know that like as i said before there are like, no I, i didn't know about planes but literally i was dreaming like i, I had no part like, no limits in my mind of having like this this be the bond or this something i just dreamed of it like, why don't like, when there will be one day where i'll be flying like i expect to be a pilot and there are like so many things like which uh, i was dreaming of thinking of space and do something i the after this schooling i've been into this same struggles and after that when we started my college and there was like, as common like what people feel when the engineering college starts and when they are doing like i'm in final year engineering final year engineering if i wouldn't have got that chance of one particular point in my life where i can say that's a new turn like, like some some other like, brilliant thing which happened in my life that is like in our college we had this trip to nasa and where i have been actually ta- taken to nasa and that's right the breaking point of my life i can say i have been chosen for the team and generally you can say ideas can be ideas can be gen- right? ideas can be So basically, I think uh, 
he wants to say that uh, ideas are you know submerged no, are ideas, you know ideas can be uh, actually like part of many things but you can't just implement it like that that's because the risk of failure and that's why we stand apart we have that conference and that faith in us the whole team and we are diving for action and that's how the kalam sir is what up So I see this guy coming, you know, uh, coming up with no pressure. But I have been through pressure since my schooling days. Let me <laughs> let me brief you up. I've been studying in JSS Public School in Bangalore. So I've been part of JSS. Yes. So so if you want me to tell the full form of JSS, let me tell you. It's Jagat Guru Sri Shivratri Shri Swami Public School. So yes. So you know, JSS is more into nerd production. What do you say? No comments, is it? <laughs> All right. Actually, I've been through this spiritual institution, which is you know, given me the proper basic foundation towards whatever I am right now, and I feel really honored. And uh, as we come to this part where you know, we have done Kalam Sat, which is the lightest satellite in the world, which is just 64 grams, including the payload and the ballast. and the dimension of the particular satellite is just 3.8 cm into 3.8 into 3.8 cm that is just basically a small 4 cm cube satellite as you all know space is really really expensive so we thought okay how can we make it economical you all know the materials used are costly metals and as well as heavy metals so we thought why can't we compensate the frame by making something light and economical and this is where we came up with the idea why why can't we use reinforced carbon fiber polymer that was the material used okay i think this is too technical i mean okay so let me just show you a video what's it this is just the making of kalam sat let me just show you the small video of the launch of a satellite so let me just brief it out to you uh, this is a parabolic flight where we don't make any cause of space junk in space that is basically a debris fallen out of fallen out on space and yes uh, due to the increase in debris the future launches might be abrupted so i think uh, this is a possible technology where we can use so that we reuse the rocket and reuse the satellite for future purposes so this is you know this actually makes the whole thing economical and we are really honored that this is the first ever indian satellite to fly aboard a nasa uh, rocket and this is we launched on this june 22nd of the month it was launched just this year june 22nd and uh, yes this is just the basics of uh, what the satellite is and the struggles we have endured is a lot a lot uh might be you know he might be a better guy to tell you what the struggles like, are we are the team like from aging from 18 to 21 and there will be a lot of criticisms you face when you go to someone to say that you are really planning of making a satellite And that's where we started the criticism right from our first project. Our first one was the NSLV Kalam Point, which we did in 2015. And right from there, the criticisms actually were like fuel for us for a journey which we are standing here right now. It's been always the the criticisms which 
they the criticism which we had actually we took it as a challenging like rather than it be like demotivating us or something it was very challenging the criticism and and after achieving this kalam sir there are actually really appreciations from the people who really criticized us and that's a great thing actually after getting up appreciations from the ones who criticized us and there's also one more thing when you like how good you how however good you are at something but we in each and every of our project when we have made satellites or something like at the end time like when we are about to ship in one hour or something there will be definitely definitely for every project which we have seen till now there is always a break like all of a sudden something won't work or like everything goes wrong literally and then that that's where we call it as disaster management of like our team members and that that point of time where we literally go out of minds and the especially when the second one skysat one which is to be launched next that 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 particular thing we had about 20 20 sensors or more in that the satellite wasn't working we didn't get the output data and then we were all like we have to be shipping it in one hour we were like, off totally off what to do like we have been working on it for months and suddenly it's gone off and then we like every one of us in our team we are like just stop the working we asked our ma'am to make our non balance ka mother dr shrimati ma'am she is the mentor of our team we just asked her to make gulab jamun and we eat until then like, we are not going to work on it and then that's how like all all of the team members they have more limits in thinking they are like beyond we see something like it will be just beyond imagination like when we are eating gulab jamun we thought like actually to make a satellite or send it to space the main thing is the mass the weight of it like how how much the weight the cost price increases actually we made was one kg one new satellite that's about 1000 grams and so we thought like by eating a gulab jamun to make this price launch cost reduce we like suddenly all of a sudden we are eating gulab jamun and then we like suddenly man why don't we make a this size gulab jamun sorry this size satellite actually it's gulab jamun satellite and so why don't we make satellite of this size and that's how the idea started in research and along with that there was this competition by nasa and so we got into it and that's how the kalam chat was made now the criticism is behind yeah as he told you uh, uh the name the first we gave was gulab gulab jamun sat itself and uh, the first ever satellite which we launched was an nslb we were to be graced by kalam ji but uh, he wasn't i mean he just passed away 3 3 weeks before so we gave a tribute on his name telling nslb kalam 1 that was the first satellite name of ours and yes and uh, this gulab jamun sat we thought okay any uh, this is being launched by nasa we should you know make our country proud proud so we gave again we came upon the name kalam sat itself in honor to our ex president he has been a wonderful driving force as everyone knows he has been a craze in space uh, space centers and space education systems in india so i think you know all of you know uh our parents are in a different generation they ought to you know come to our generation and see what is exactly happening most of our parents are supportive few parents are scared how 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 the how their child might fare up, fare up or fare down so this is one of the factors and i think we should all i think being in this generation we should all set up a trend and build up confidence and you know show show what we can actually do i think our country is full of resources and we should utilize in a right manner so this is what exactly we did and we are not from the same place all of our teams we are a part of uh space kids india where we have worked and it's a group of seven people it's all from different places it's from uh, one person is from tirupati one person is from pallapatti it's a small village in tamil nadu so each of them are from different regions and we all united to one cause and it was we didn't have any boundaries and the day i got this topic no no bonds from jssat we just you know we just felt so happy that our motto synced with 
whatever we had to speak and we are really honored of being a part of this and we would love i mean you cr crowd you, your crowd is amazing you crowd you definitely need an applause thank you sir and and and, and 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 i think you all agree with this i think the organizer should be given a huge round of applause because this has been a crazy set of what do you think yeah so a stand up around for plus we been here we been driving through and recently we've gotten to this mega con contest called as google lunar express where we are going to the moon and we are going to land the most lightest spacecraft on the moon and uh, the lander name what we have given is from our uh our you know our mythology you must say and uh, you know you must be knowing about pushpaka vimana and that's the name of our lander so we have named the lander as uh, pushpaka vimana in honor of our country and they're really appreciative to whatever we are doing i think we we deserve i mean uh, we hope that you guys support us in our future missions and it's been wonderful coming here it's an honor coming here love you all guys thanks a lot thanks Like when we started with it, like literally, like each one of us didn't know what we would be doing in life. And this contest, what we spoke just now, it was it started when we were in like seventh grade or sixth grade. We didn't even know about it. And that's what I'm thinking to say. Like you should have no bounds to your thoughts or anything. Whatever you do, just follow your passion and reach to that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.